hello fellow mobile gamers um so yeah uh, as you could maybe already tell i'm looking at a mobile game right now well this is on my pc but this is the google play store i don't know why you can even access it but yeah it is and uh, this game is called the war of colony and uh basically i'm gonna be or i want to look at how this game is advertised how they, you know, promote themselves on their own site here and on other sources, and then actually, actually play the game and um, look how, how it really, how it really plays. Okay, so from the uh, little icon here, we can tell that this is supposed to be like a kind of Napoleon, or at least that era themed game um if we go to the pictures here seems like that as well let's quickly go through those so it says select the country to start the game uh, so there's united states france prussia and the uk and they all look well i, I wouldn't say historic at all historical they are like pretty fantasy ish uh, recruit generals here, it seems. There's George Washington, Louis Bonaparte. Alright, these seem to be reasonably famous. And they got Jervis. I don't know who that is. Trained soldiers join the battle. I don't quite know what that's supposed to tell me. But, you know, you got Arquebus unit here. I guess it's a unit, I don't know, or a soldier. Arquebus definitely some kind of gun. I don't know if it's that though and his stats i guess so there's hus a number i don't know what hus is but food production all right i guess i know what that means i don't know why a unit would be producing food rather than consuming it but whatever grain capacity okay so oh so you got food production but then you also have food production and then you have grain capacity and also grain capacity again i don't quite understand this but maybe to a professional at this game it would make sense to seize the colonies for war is that the beginning of a sentence use the governor to build a colony maybe it is oh, oh it starts again okay um i don't know if if i was which i'm not I, if i was the marketing person for this i would uh, have it say seize the colonies for war exclamation mark because that would I don't know that feels more engaging but you have this battle scene looks like you can also build a base and also well it looks like use a governor interesting so let's read the description here it is an epic strategy war game you absolutely can't miss well I'm glad I don't won't haven't whatever War of Colonies takes you back to the ages, to the age of colonial, colon, colonization. What the fuck? I can't speak. Assemble your army and plunder resources to fuel your conquest. Build your base and repel invaders. Your army needs your, uh, your full efforts to grow stronger. Okay. Game features build a base. Okay. Uh, all right. So seems to be like one one part of it is to build your base and then you can also like fight battles which eh, it doesn't seem like a bad concept to me um what's this oh so that's another game by the same developer looks pretty similar here i don't know hmm. well this is clearly not in english this i think that's arabic Okay, so maybe they made an Arab version of this game. And you got the the guy here again with the stuff. And wait a minute. So here he has the British flag, and here he has the American one. And it's a bit more zoomed in. I mean, I'm sure they had a reason to do that. Okay. And they got that one again. Seems to be the same picture here as well. Okay, and then they got those people again, and wait a second, it changed a bit. So what used to be Prussia here is 
now Spain. United States uh, stayed the same. Um, here it is France, but now it's Germany, which I mean that does fit a bit with the color scheme, I guess. And now France is what is the United Kingdom in the English version. All right. Seems a bit weird, but oh, so this it's also. Yeah, it's just the same picture, but a bit zoomed out. Well, I don't know what their reasoning for this is. To change some of these things from version to version, and... I don't really know which one was the original. So there's the description. This looks about the same. Let's, actually, we can translate this with Google Translate. Okay, so Game of Wars, Epic... Game Wars, Epic Strategy... Colonialism, all right, seems to be the same thing pretty much, just more of a bit of broken English, but I suppose that probably f is due to the translating, the uh, Google translating, um, game features, development of Al-Qaeda, global invasion, bigger. oh, development of Al-Qaeda, global invasion begins, building a huge base, now, I don't know, but I, I'm just going to hope that this is just badly Google translated. But if it isn't, then I would be concerned. Um, what does it say here? So this is game features. Base development. Development of Al-Qaeda. So <laughs> I, I suppose they somehow translated some Arab word that means base into Al-Qaeda. Okay, it's a uh, strange choice okay let's look at the rating 3.6 stars it's not it's not terrible it's pretty good you know it's definitely on the positive side of things but I have noticed that of course the most reviews here are five stars but then the second largest is one star review so there seems to be quite a divide on um, what people think of this game well okay but enough of just looking at the game. Um, as you can see, it's already installed on my phone. So I'm gonna play it, see what it's all about, and yeah, I'll tell you how the game is. Alright, so um, uh, I did download the game, or well, I already had it downloaded, and the first thing this wants you to do is read like a, well, pretty big, uh, terms of service, and then you're they say that you have to create an account for their like weird service, but I just said, well, nah, so I like created the guest account. And I do apologize for this all being in German, but I don't know how to change that in like Google Place or whatever. So, yeah, um, this had a pretty fucking long loading screen that was that's sped up by four times, and you can choose your character here. There's four different ones. I don't know why you really have to choose your character. This doesn't really seem like that kind of game. So this is just a tutorial uh, I was doing here. It took about 10 minutes in total. Um, so yeah, if, if you're already... If you can't tell, this is a very fucking basic game. This is pretty much a copy of a lot, I don't know if it's copyrighted, but there's a fucking ton of games, mobile games, who do this exact same thing, they have like the exact same gameplay, where you have to like, have that base, and then you can, well, recruit troops and shit, and everything costs different resources, and of course there's like diamonds and shit you can buy stuff with, and then you attack things, there's like a campaign you can attack stuff on, and then, of course, you get star ratings. It's pretty much like in Clash of Clans here. Uh, you can also, like, recruit generals. So that is a uh, it's a feature that they also advertise in their thingy here. One thing that isn't the thing, though, is the whole... Um, that you can start your na uh, select your nation, which is not a thing, or select your country. And, yeah, it just upgraded the town hall or, or the castle as they like to call it in this game but yeah it's pretty much just the fucking same thing as clash of clans but 
it looks way worse, I would say, personally. You know, there's some pretty good um, pictures here, but I don't know, just not a very appealing style. So yeah, very predictable, very shit. Yeah, not, not a good game at all, but I think that's pretty obvious. Alright, so we looked at um, what they advertised this game on on their actual like store site and then what the game actually plays like. But now uh, I'm going to look at some of the ads for this game that are played on well external sites. So these first are YouTube ads and as you might have been able to tell by this one, this is someone else who's exposing this game i guess uh, fake advertising wharf colony ios so yeah um, basically these are they played this is a while ago i don't know if they still do it i haven't gotten an ad like that in a while but a few months ago you'd get under your videos i don't know maybe it's just because like the like, type of videos i watch but i got this fucking these ads a fucking lot right and it's of game of colony Right, Wharf Colony, I'm sorry. And what they do is they put gameplay here. I'm, I'm gonna play it. And of course, you saw me play this game. It's not this at all. And um, that's pretty fucking obvious to see. This is actually a, a completely different game. A game for Steam called uh, Hold Fast Napoleonic Warfare. I actually have that game. I played like a bit of that. But like, I, I can fucking tell it's that game. It's just a fucking clip. And then you can see, yeah, the guy clicks on that and it goes to this mobile, mobile, mobile game thing, right? So, it's not that at all. Very different game. Here's another one, and this one just titled Wharf Colony 1, which is a pretty strange title. And that's just the actual ad. So that's the video that plays if he got the ads for the game. They always have, like, these fucking stupid ass titles and yeah you can see with a like to dislike ratio that people do not really like this so let's let's watch this by the way there is no audio for either of these no for this oh shit all right for this there is audio i'm sorry but for that one there just wasn't any audio and yeah once again not the game at all it's a very similar game to the other one to hold fast this is mountain blade um, napoleonic wars i think it's like a dlc for it uh, but very much not that game at all. It's very much a better game than War of Colony, though. And all the comments, all three of them are, This is all lies and deception. Yes, it is. Thomas West says, but this is Mountain Blade Warband. Yeah, it's a DLC for Mountain Blade Warband. That's what I said. Well, not really, but... Cool, and then How by Reaper. So yeah, people are not happy with this game understandably so and here we can see this on the um europe europa universalis 4 subreddit if you don't know uh, that's also another pc game basically it kind of does what the game advertises in some aspect it's like a it's like a nation builder kind of game so these are unit models from the game and i don't even know why they chose these these like don't even look good and of course, Europa Universalis is not like a very graphically good looking game, it's a fucking strategy game. Like they're not really supposed to look that good and they don't, right? And yeah, they they took that, they took these assets, I think that's actually just screenshots from some of the promotional material for the game. And they just put all well, names of probably the countries where this is most played in i would assume as we saw there was like an error version for this so yeah that's very nice and here is another one and this is also a screenshot from an ad on on reddit actually this is also on the total war subreddit this time and it's again worth calling of course and they have an advert which is just um total war uh, napoleon total war gameplay in it it's just blatantly taking gameplay from another game and putting it in an ad claiming it's there so this is fucking this is highly illegal at least it should be 
Uh, so yeah, very nice, very nice here. Here's some other examples. Um, so this is this is not War of Colony. This is a different mobile game. Uh, and once again, this uses gameplay or a screenshot from uh, Europa Universalis 4. If you, this is what the game looks like, by the way. No, it's it doesn't look like this fucking horrible. Um, but yeah, like the map with all countries and shit. This is just like a screenshot from EU4, just altered. And the way it is altered in seems quite strange. So I don't know why, but Canada. <laughs> It's just, like, all of Russia plus, like, I don't know, parts of China and some other shit. But that's just fucking retarded. Like, holy shit. And you see these ugly-ass attack arrows coming from all the different countries here. And I don't know why, but there seems to be, like, weird blur. Like, look. This is, I, I suppose, that's, like, Great Britain here, right? I think that's Ireland, Scotland, and... It just, they just pasted it, like, two times, um, over here to the right. And also, this looks very unnatural. I don't know what the fuck they did here. It's like, this is like, like fucking dog shit, right? Yeah, so I sad for a shitty mobile game, I knew it looked too familiar. And the game in question is, well, it is, it isn't, <laughs> but what they advertise it, um, they advertise Game of Kings The Blood Throne. A very, a very nice title, very engaging. All these games have pretty similar titles. Um, here's another one. Um, this is on Facebook, so I, I guess it's a Facebook game. Yeah, it says the most expected Facebook game 2017. I don't know what the most expected. I feel like there's a bit of weird language translation issues going on because the most expected isn't really a good thing. It's just like. Well, of course, this game is going to be in 2017. Everybody expected it to be. Um, so, yeah, it's also... <laughs> this is also, of course, a screenshot from Europa Universalis. Um, you can clearly tell it's, it's the same as here, just not as ugly. And then they just took Russia and they... Well, uh, instead of the actual color the Russia has in the game, they just took the Russian flag and... They added a bunch of very ugly mobile game UI on the left. You got your hero character, whatever, which, as you remember, was also like a thing in uh, War of Colony. And he's VIP 1, level 37, and something 16 million. Build a sawmill. Alright, I don't know where you're going to build a sawmill. Like, it's a bit broad, I feel like. And then you see all these fucking stupid ass icons and it's a fucking facebook game ad this is fucking stupid holy shit and once again this is another mobile game copying from u4 um this i feel like maybe isn't directly taken from the game because it's not quite um like the actual start date it doesn't actually look like this but still very very similar and very reminiscent this might just be fucking graphics mod or something or maybe they just altered a screenshot a bit and you know, some of the names are different for example which says russia actually says um muscovy or that nation is actually muscovy in the normal game and yeah, it's, it's a bit different overall there's turks which is called the ottomans in the actual u4 game but you know I think what's very clear is that this game is supposed to look like EU4. Like, you're supposed to get this ad and be like, Oh, what? I can play EU4 on my mobile phone? Well, don't mind if I do. But of course, well, I haven't played Vikings War. But I assume that it's not this. I'm pretty fucking positive that it's going to be the exact same fucking game as War of Colony. I have a feeling that's going to be the case with Throne Rush and Game of Kings as well. I don't know, I just got that feeling. It's going to be the exact same fucking game where you have your stupid ass city and build your troops. Oh, yeah. And uh, lastly, there's also another screenshot here on the Total War subreddit. 
and it's on a game called Titan Throne, which you can see is again uh, all these have very similar titles. Always like Kings, Throne Blood War, right? Throne again. Yeah. So there's Titan Throne, Throne Rush, Game of Kings: The Blood Throne. You know. And um, <laughs> this just uses a screenshot of a Total War Warhammer 2 battle. Um, of course, Total War Warhammer 2 is a it's it's a fucking great game in my opinion, one of my favorite games ever. And this is act like even in that game, this fucking battle is massive. Like this would probably lag the fuck out of your computer. And to think that this would ever run on a mobile game is just fucking ridiculous. Uh, on a phone, it's just ridiculous. Of course it won't, right? And then, I love the caption here. I bet one million dollars you will love this game. Well, I, I do love Total War Warhammer to you. I, I guess I'm gonna have to give you one million dollars now, but... That game, of course, Titan Throne, is not going to be Total War Warhammer 2. This is also probably illegal. I'm like 99% sure it is. And yeah, it's just fucking scummy and retarded. And here it says, install now. Gorgeous 3D graphics. Orcs, undead, elves, and humans. Choose. Uh, probably like your faction or whatever. And this is, again, on Facebook, I think. I, I'm not sure, though. I, this, yeah, of course, is a mobile phone, so it will be for a mobile game. Oh, yeah, this is just fucking stupid. And, yeah, basically all these mobile games, what they... Not all mobile games, there are some good ones, but the majority are just garbage. And what a lot of these just do is just, they take fucking gameplay, like, straight up just... This is just gameplay. This is a video, of course. I can't play it because it's a screenshot, but this was a video, and we've seen, like, videos for the... War of Colony games, they just take other games' video, like gameplay from it, or screenshots. That's like the worst, right? And then they claim it as their own, so people will fall for it. And this other shitty ass game. And then there's some who just. They, they alter the thing a bit, right? But it's still very clear what it's supposed to be, right? So yeah, all in all, I can just say that I love mobile games. I'm a mobile gamer, uh, proud to be. I play Vikings War every day of my life, and I can highly recommend it, along with War of Colony, of course.